Um, so welcome to Woodland Wizards. Uh, we're playing a little demo for you because a lot of people inquired about how the gameplay actually works. And we are happy to show you our very cute little game. We're here inside of Tabletop Simulator and we'll start our round. So first you take out the deck. At the moment it's uh, 53 cards and one starting player card. I will be the starting player, so I put the card next to me, so everybody knows I'm the starting player for this round. Next, we shuffle all the cards, and everybody draws five. I'm going to start with five, and I'm going to show you my hand in more detail. So we don't play too competi competitively uh, at the moment, we're just trying to show you the game. So from my cards, you can see I have different kind of cards, colors here. I have the red ones with a tournament. This is a contest card, an active contest card. Then I have the one with a sleeping and the, and the yellow ribbon. That is a passive contest card. And finally, we have spells, which are the blue ones with the sparkles. These are spell cards. So the game uses these three cards in different phases differently. First, you have a wandering phase. So we are like this little, these little creatures, creature mages. We're walking through the woods and in the preparation or wandering phase, we're drawing uh, one card um, from the deck. And then we play one card from our hand. And in this round, um, in the wandering uh, phase, uh, only the blue cards, so these two, have an effect that is resolved immediately. I could play another card, but they won't have any effect. I just can drop them. Um, so I want to play the Life Leech. I put it on the discard. And I draw two new cards. So this one goes here. So I draw two new cards because of the effect of the card. Draw two new cards. I draw two new cards. As you can see, I have more than five cards now. Okay, so now it's the turn of uh, Lisa. Lisa, you may uh, draw a card and play a card. And maybe we can see. Okay, Lisa is playing the All-Seeing Eagle. The All-Seeing Eagle is a spell card as well. So the blue ribbon, you see. Um, and she can now choose a form. So this, this symbol means a form, which means um, she can choose any um, creature type um, like uh, uh, the plant or um, the insects or um, the, the beasts or the birds. And she can draw through the um, pile and get the first one she, she, she wants to have. Which one do you want to have? Um, I choose in uh, insect. Insect. Okay. She wants to have an insect. So this is not an insect. And the phoenix is not an insect. And there goes an insect. Just let me have a look at the, at the insect. So she drew the Hornet Queen. So we know she has a very high card now for the contest round. Okay. Maren, it's your turn. Draw a card and play a card. So she's dropping the Wolpertinger, a very nice card if you are in the later game. Um, good. So now we are in the preparation for the contest phase. We now have to discard down to five cards. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. I'm going to drop two cards. And Lisa's going to drop, uh, if, if she has one, no, she doesn't. They, they are already preparing for the next step, which is playing a contest creature. So the contest creature is the creature you want to score. Um, you take any of your cards that you think you can get through and put it face down on the left side. So we all have chosen our contest creatures. And this is the contest phase now. And now we simultaneously reveal our contest creatures we have chosen. So now and clockwise, we're, uh, we're doing the effects. My effect says Giant Scorpion. The value of all 10 plus cards of all players is reduced to 8. So this means my Giant Scorpion is now worth 8 only. The Shadow Moth from Marn is 8. 
and the Hornet Queen is reduced to eight. So we are all equally at, at, the, at that point. So now comes Lisa's card. Lisa has a passive effect. Every insect adds two to your contest creature. This means all, all the insects that are played, like the Shadow Moth, even from Marin, are added to her bonus. So she's getting more points. At the moment, she has an insect here, an insect here, which is two insects, and an insect here, which is three insects. So at the moment, she would have eight and six, so 14 points with her contest. The aim of the contest is to get the highest uh, or the most points. And if you have them, you get your contest creature um, as, um, as a winning card in your um, in your count. So you try to score as high as, high as, you, as you can. So now comes Marin's card. And Marin's card says, exchange another player's contest creature with the topmost of the deck. So Marin could choose the giant scorpion, or she could choose the Hornet Queen. I do choose the Hornet Queen. So she chooses the Hornet Queen, which is then discarded. And the Lisa gets another card, another contest creature, and which is only a four. So the deadly wine with a four and no special effect. Yeah. So you shouldn't have come out too, uh, too soon with your Hornet Queen. She was attacked in the first round. So what we're now doing, we're starting the first round of boosting. So um, every card that's played now is boosting the creatures. So I'm going first and then the other. So everybody has chosen um, a boosting card. So now we turn over. Okay. First thing I do, um, Draw one hand card from a player and discard it. So I'm gonna choose Marin because she's my highest competitor. And I take this one and discard it. Okay, then comes Lisa. Lisa has um, an effect, a passive effect. All plants add one. So she has one, two extra points already for the plants. All plants of all players count one more. They're not counting towards Lisa. They're counting for me, it's counting one more, and all other are counting one more. Okay, so this is a passive effect, and then comes Marin with a, um, another effect, which is not nice. She's uh, choosing one player to exchange their contest creature with a hand card. And whom do you choose? I do choose uh, the giant scorpion. So I have to take the giant scorpion back to my hand, and I'm gonna exchange this with the root shambler. So the Root Chambler has a passive ability. It says, if you lose a contest, replace the winner's contest creature with the top card from the deck. So this is a nasty one if you are uh, scoring worse, but for Lisa, it could be beneficial. Mm. Counting on that. So let's see the next card. Uh, you still can come down. Okay, so turn them over. So first I have a passive effect. All my creatures get one extra point for the boost card. So this one is a two, and this one is a, is, a, is a four. Actually, this one is a three because of the uh, spoke reliever. So next one is the seven egg, which has no special effect, but it counts 10 points for her. And now Marin comes with a long neck, which is a very nasty creature. It exchanges the winner's contest creature with long neck. So if you win the contest, you get the long neck instead. Which is very not nice of you, Marin. Not nice. So now it's the third round of boosting. You can pass if you don't want to participate. But of course, you may stay uh, in as long as you have cards. Okay, so next round. And for Marn, it's the final round. Okay, so for me, I play the uh, Giant Scorpion again, which uh, reduces any 10 plus cards like the, the Monkey, the Sibonic, and the Root Chambler and the Giant Scorpion to 8. Um, still, it's a lot of points, so I played it. 
Um, Lisa has played the Old Willow, which has no special effects in this round, because it's a spell card. And Marin played the Living Leaf, which is actually a very neat creature. It always gets scored if you survive the round. And it counts double if you get more of them. Okay, so three points. Mm -hmm. And the last round. So Marin has no cards left, so she cannot participate, because I robbed her one card before. And Lisa. Let's see. Oh, sorry. And Lisa... Okay, I have no um, effect. I have just a spell card. And Lisa kills all the bird boost cards. So, the long neck goes away. And only the long neck goes away, right? Very nice. Okay, now let's count the points. I'm starting with my card. So I have... The, we have a, a spore polluter out there, so every, every leaf counts one more. So... This one is 11, this one is 12, and it gets one point from the from the thorn patches, so it's uh, 13 and 4, because it boosts itself, uh, is 17, and this one is um, uh, 11, so uh, 25, and um, 5 more is 30, but I have to reduce these by 2. So it's 26, if I counted correctly. 26. So Lisa, you have four, uh, five, um, and eight um, is 13. This one is an eight, um, 21. Uh, this one is a nine, is 30, and 31. So you beat me. And Martin, you have eight and seven, 15, 18. So you come in last. So Lisa beat me by a heartbeat and she is the first so i lose the contest with my root chandler so i replace her card her four with another one from the deck and she got a living leaf yeah, okay <laughs> <laughs> so since now uh, the the living leaf of marin is scored as well because um she only has to uh survive the round and i so I, it started all promising get zero points <laughs> so we uh, can take all the cards away okay with our this and last one okay so these get reshuffled into the deck so it's Marin three points and Lisa three points and I have zero so okay I am now giving up the star player position and Marin gets the star new player it's the star player so let's shuffle this and draw five more cards. Everyone draws five cards. You could have kept cards if you are not. Uh, if you see uh, last round that you are not uh, winning um, the game, and you want to keep some for the next round. Okay. So Marin may go first. Oh, first one card here. So there's the monkey. Draw one card and play one card. Okay, we're now in the preparation phase. Marn plays um, the Deadly Vine, which is very nice. She may draw the first 8 plus card she finds in the deck. This one is not. Oh, this one is a Phoenix. So she has drawn the Phoenix. Okay. I don't want to play this. Oh, I'm just going to draw first. Hmm, the only card I have is this one. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna play this one. Um, all other players have to discard a hand card with a value of one, and they redraw for it. One card with one, and discard. Do you have a card with one? No. no. Okay. That's good. Um, so I don't Lisa... redraw uh, if I have five cards now. Is that correct? Uh, you you redraw anyways. I said, I said, um, it is. It says all other players discard a hand card with a value of one. They redraw. All right. So you always redraw. Okay. Lisa didn't. So Lisa, you may draw a card and and start your turn. So this is the last contest. Uh, the last um, preparation round. Okay, Lisa plays. Draw a hand card from one player and give them one back. 
so she may draw from any player one hand card. One I wanna card. draw one from Maren. Yes, we take one from Maren. Okay, and you have to give her one back. So it's important to uh, do, make do with the with the things you are given. Um, you can manipulate fate a bit, but of course you need a, a little bit of luck to get the right cards for the for your strategy. Okay, so Marn, you have gotten a card back. Now we discard down to five cards. These are your five cards. So we choose our contest creature for this round. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay. So then we turn it over. Now oh, the leafy wolf. Okay, but first my card comes, so I could choose to take away the Leafy Wolf. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I choose to take away uh, Marn's um, Root Shamble. I know she has a Phoenix, but she won't play it now, of course but so I know more about her cards. Okay, now comes the Leafy Wolf, and the Leafy Wolf says all other players exchange their contest creature with one hand card. So we redraw and put another one out there. So Marn will play the Phoenix most certainly. Yes, that's what I hope for. <laughs> okay, next round. Okay, turn over. Marn starts first, so she says, if you lose the contest, replace the winner's contest creature with the top one of the deck. Now comes my turn, I say, choose one player to exchange their contest creature with a hand card. Marn, please go and put your phoenix away. <laughs> okay, now she's she has a four, that's more like it. And um, Lisa is boosting her own cards. And that's it for this round. Okay, let's see. I will pass this round. You will pass? Okay. Yes. Okay, Lauren's passing. Okay, she's preparing for next for the next big onslaught next round. Okay, so turn it over. So then it's my turn. First, I discard all the leaves from the boosts. So, Marn's going away, and you don't have a leaf there. And you play uh, the leafy owl, and uh, the leaf owl, and the leaf owl has, is a spell, so she hasn't any effect. Okay. So, next round of boosting. Yeah, I went. I'm going to pass. So, Lisa is playing this. Okay. So, Lisa, if you want, you can play your last card or your. You're finished. Lisa played the Living Leaf again. You want to play a card? Because I no. passed already. Okay, so. Lisa scores, she's, she's the winner with uh, a lot of points <laughs> and she gets the 12 and she gets the 3. All right. And the remaining cards get discarded. So the specialty, she now got the Living Leaf through, which is 3 points, but since she already has one, each Living Leaf is counted 6 points. So she already has 12, 24 points makes us our target number one now for the next rounds. Okay, let's discard the remaining cards. 
and I choose to discard one from my hand as well, <coughs> but I keep one. Marin keeps three. And Lisa, you keep the, the last card? Yes. Okay. So Lisa has one that makes um, Marin the starting player again. Okay, draw cards. Two cards for you. Yes. Five cards for me. Oh, four cards, sorry. I put the best, uh, last one right. Sorry. And Lisa gets four cards as well. Uh, Marin starts the round and she draws one card, and we need one for the stack as well. So. so let's see. Marin is playing the All Seeing Eagle and goes through the deck. And what are you looking for? I choose uh, leaves. Leaves. Oh, plants. There's one. Okay. And so now I draw a card. I play the Mystical Deer. The Mystical Deer lets me draw three cards and I have to discard one of them. So three cards. One, two, three. And discard one of them, which will be this one. Okay. Which one do you choose? I choose. <coughs> you took the whole deck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so this card down to five cards. And then we'll have a go on that two, two, two cards. Yes, that's good. Okay. Got this and Okay. Okay. Let's turn them over. Marin, you are playing the Eerie Eye. Do you want to replace it with one hand card? That's a good question. I'm thinking. I do. Okay. Interesting choice. So now it's Lisa. Lisa says, choose one player to exchange their contest creature with a hand card. I choose the Shadow Beak. You choose the Shadow Beak. So the Shadow Beak goes back to the hand. And Mar has to play another card from her hand. Why? Huh? She chooses one player oh. to exchange the contest oh, yeah. creature with a hand I card. just mistook the card. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so you're playing the Phoenix. OK. Next round. So my card, by the way, adds two to each of its boost cards. Okay, Marin played the Phoenix, which is 15 and counts 20 at the end of the game. So we don't want that to, to happen. Okay, Marin, turn over. The Eerie Eye, okay. Okay, she plays the, you may exchange Eerie Eye with one hand card. She may do this. I 
do. You're doing this. Okay, this is an eight. Okay. I choose uh, exchange another player's contest creature with the topmost of the deck. So this one goes away, and this one you may draw uh, the first one and put it there. Yeah. <laughs> but the effect is not played again. You're aware so, that I'm not the enemy, yes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you had the phoenix, then you would have been the enemy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's another plus one for each of her boost cards. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, let's turn them over. So, Mar is playing. So, Mar is playing the Eerie Eye. You want to replace it with one hand card? Yes. Okay. With Life Leech. I have um, the Spore Polluter, which gives plus one to all players' leaves or plants. And finally, she comes in and kills all boost cards that are birds. We don't have any birds. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so I kill the value of the of cards that are twelve and uh, ten and higher, so they all get eight. But I go first with my effect. Oh, sorry. Uh, you you may exchange your card if you have a hand card left. Yes. Then you put the shadow beak out. Now comes mine and reduces the value, and you are giving the winner the the long neck. Okay. Last round of boosting. I'm gonna pass. Let's turn it over. So Marin, you cannot exchange anymore, and Lisa is just playing three points to her stack. So who is the winner of this round? Eight and sixteen and another eight. Twenty-four and this one is an eight. It's 32, and then they get one, two, three, six points on top. So I have 38 points. What's it with you, Marn? I'm counting still. So this is 16. This one? Uh, yes, I will add them at the end. Okay. okay. Uh, so I have 16 plus 10, 26 plus 3, uh, 29, plus. Three, right? So I have thirty-two. Mm -hmm. And these are you have ten, eleven, eighteen, twenty-one, right? Yes. So I... what happens now? I pardon? That. Oh no, sorry, I forgot that... your your points. You have how much do you have? Uh, sorry, I uh, forgot. <laughs> So it's 10, uh, 11, um, 19, and 3 is 22, right? And then there yeah. come 1, 2, 3, 4 points on, on top. So you're last. Um, I win, but I don't get the creature. I get this lousy long neck instead. And the cards go away. But I save the day from the phoenix. <laughs> Was totally worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge is brewing. Okay, now I won, so left of me, Lisa is going to be the start player for the last round, right?
final round. And Lisa is gonna start. <laughs> okay, she's discarding the water tinger. Your turn. Yes. Let's see. I play the mirror in. I take one card from Lisa. Okay. Hmm. Oof. Oh well. There you go. Okay. Discard down to five cards and the contest will begin. Okay. Get over. So Lisa starts. You want to exchange it with one hand card? Lisa? Yes. I'm gonna choose. The Phoenix. I hope you have something to, <laughs> to, stop her. to exchange it. Yes, because otherwise this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. It's solely your fault because you attacked me so much. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Okay. Lisa, you may exchange your card if you want. Mm. Who's me her card? Yes. Okay, exchange your card. Okay, all these get one point. Marn plays one to all her boosts, and I draw a hand card. Oh, let's see from who I take a hand card. Mm, I guess I take yours. Oh, sorry, to discard. <laughs> okay. Next round. Okay, turn over. Lisa has no effect. Marn adds one to all plants. Thank you for that. And I just got another hand card from Lisa, of course. Because she has the Phoenix Mount, don't want to give her any more points. She has 22, 26. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Marble is the Wolpertinger, which has no effect. And I kill all the insects. Are there any insects? Nope. Nope. So there's no effect. And then. Last but not least, Marn, turn over. You have a spider with one, and I have four. So I guess it was not enough. Let's count. Yeah, so Lisa has 15 and 9. It's 24 and 33. Lisa has 33. How much do you have, Marn? Let me count. Oh, yeah. Four and four, nine. 34. 34. How much did you have? Is that enough? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. And I have only 8. 
uh, and three and three is 14 and 15 and 19. I'm completely out here. <laughs> so okay. Marn wins this round. There's no evil effect going on. Marn gets this card and we are all out of cards at the moment. So this is, this was the final round and we're now counting our score. Lisa's is 24, Marn's is 15 and I have a lousy measly seven points. So you see the power of the leaf here because um, uh, she collected the leaf in the right moment and has a 12. Marin has a 12 and a leaf, but she's missing the second leaf here. One of so, us could have snatched the leaf away or the wolf, so yes. uh, she wouldn't be so powerful, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately the Wolfertinger wasn't uh, used. Yes, the Wolfertinger wasn't, wasn't in the game really at the, at the right moment. So, okay, this uh, concludes our first um, play of a single round of um, Wooden Wizards. You can play it with up to six people, two, two to six people. Now we played with three people. Um, with three players, only the first one gets scored. In a four player game, which is uh, the norm, the first and the second players get scored. So you don't uh, miss out on the, yeah, on the scoring. It's not, it's not quite as harsh as the three player version. But the three-player version also has a lot of um, yeah, attacking the, the one that is in front, which is in a four-player um, version is not not that strong than in the, the three-player version. But we didn't fight together. I fought Marin because I, I don't know. I, I, I don't trust Marin in, in the game because she, she knows how to play me. <laughs> <laughs> I was more afraid of her than Lisa, and yeah. this is always the mistake I make with Lisa. Lisa is very quiet and always <laughs> <laughs> sneaky.